Well, here we are back at uh, day two of the thermal solar install project. I had a few minutes, so I went through the uh, mill that they have for processing fibers into wool for their customers. As you see here in this picture, this is the commercial washing machine that's used to wash the fibers as they arrive from uh, the shearing process. The, this is basically just a large sink that holds hundreds of gallons of hot water during the uh, washing process, uh, one of the most critical steps in the process. After that, they just ha uh, air dry the fibers in, on just exposed the racks in the room of a different uh, color from a fibrous material. This is kind of an overnight drying process. After this, the uh, material is fed into a picking machine that fluffs it up, and then they feed it into a carding machine that uh, forms a loose tube called a roving. Uh, a pin drafter is also used on the alpaca fibers to comb the fibers into a nice smooth stream. Then these coils of rovings are taken over to the spinning machine that teases the fibers from the stream or rovings and twists it into what's called a single. The spinner is used again to create either a two or a three ply yarn that is wound into either skeins or cones. Moving outside we could see where we left off for the day. On the lower far side of the uh, array is the supply side port for the array. This, uh, you can tell, has not been plumbed. The plan is to do the plumbing from the piping in the lower corner here around the front of the I-beam. This will feed back to the building. The return side port is on the upper side of this panel that piping will run alongside the panel and then make its way under the soffit. So there will be some plumbing work starting from that piping coming out of the upper corner of that first panel. The piping will be fed through these two holes that were drilled the prior day through the exterior of the building. Inside, Jim was already at work assessing what needed to be done inside. Uh, the prior day that the drain back tank had been mounted and so he's sizing up some of the piping that's needed to run back to the back wall for both the supply and return pipes. On the inside we took the time to drill the holes from the inside perspective so we have a nice clear opening to the outside. One of the biggest uh, interfaces is to the heat exchanger which has also a side for the solar loop and a side for the potted water loop. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that part coach? out whatever you're doing. What are you guys playing with though? He's, he's taking pictures so we're like holding a tool and pointing. <laughs> Action shot. There we go. Sorry. The whole this system's breaking this, down here. This little assembly is made. Well, we, then we'll we, further push that one. And yeah, I'll get up there. I'll put the uh, sensor on there, or, or we could put this on here right now. And this is where that uh, yeah, that the pipe first, and then right. But we could put two of these up there and smush it up high. We can smush two Hold up it high. up there. Okay. Do a couple fittings down below, and then bring the insulation down over those fittings and come in from the other direction. Also, we can slice it and glue it back together with the adhesive. It's like rubber cement and glue it back That's together.
Bowl had problems one year because a bunch of frogs moved into the uh, filter. And so on started from the spring, mm. didn't know about it. You know, a couple of You heat the fitting, not the tubing. You let the uh, solder run into it. You don't put heat on the solder. You, you let the flux transfer the heat from the fitting onto the tubing. Starting to change colors, starting to smell. Almost there. One baby run. Get your glasses, Joe. Ain't running there. Come on, turn silver, boy. There we go. So this is the top drain back pipe. There's a fourth box of these somewhere.